Hello, this is a Chapel Baby Grand, four foot seven inches long, just come into stock. In fact, we have started working on it. Uh, so the worksheet shows some things which has already been done. But if you zero in on it, we'll see the kind of quality of the piano. Chapel Baby Grands is four foot seven, so very short. Uh, some of the very best, and uh, really some of the best in the world for pianos less than five foot. The ivory keys on here are absolutely immaculate. The casework is also in excellent condition. My colleague has already gone over it, uh, a French polisher, to try to improve anything that was not quite right. But around the back here, I don't know if you can see there, there's a, a line there. So this is video showing it up more than it actually is. If you step away from it, you can't see it. And uh, with the light here, it is showing it up, which is a good thing because if you can't come in, then it's good to be able to see all the defects that there are. And on this side also, Let's go right the way around because I know that on this side there's also a similar sort of crack in the veneer, if you like. But um, we're guaranteeing the pen for five years and know that nothing's going to go wrong. Or, or if, it, if it does, we put it right. So obviously we're not selling anything that is likely to go wrong. And if you can see around here, he's covered it up very well, so it's very difficult to see that one. But the, that one looks actually similar to the other one, but uh, doesn't seem to show up in the light here. So looking at the rest of the piano, it's in condition practically. Again, two blemishes here and there, but um, not, the colour is integral. There's not really any difference in colour, um, no fading on it. The top lid is also perfect, actually. You can't see any blemishes on this at all. Um, if you have a piano, we've said this many times before, it's good to have it closed some of the time if you're in a light area, because what happens is that this it remains dark while this area gets lighter over the years. You can see it's been kept closed because in fact this bit is darker. So if you keep it like this, it'll obviously fade integrally. I've tested the tuning pins, which are tight, original tuning pins. And as you can see, the strings are all in perfect condition. There's the logo for Chapel on the soundboard. That's typical of this age of Chapel. And the frame looks very good condition and very pretty as well. Now, although this is a very short piano, it does have an ordinary roller uh, lever action here. A lot of short pianos have simplex actions, which I don't really recommend, although some of the simplex actions are, do work very well. Uh, makes like Mornington and Western, for instance, nearly always have, I think, always have simplex actions. Uh, so it's good to see a normal action in a short piano. Now, the hammers have slight wear, so they need voicing. I don't... Now, if we're going to reface these, the main thing is to get the tone right. So uh, sometimes when it's worn in like that, it sounds better than if you reface it. A worn in piano can, hammer can sound really good. Um, the hinges are tight, which is important. So these don't need changing. We need to lubricate the roller, lubricate the balance rail, as we mentioned before. As you'll see the worksheet in a second. And uh, lubricate the hammers. They're, they're actually not bad, but it was one or two a bit slower than the rest. So all that helps with the touch. You know, so I've regulated notes 40 and 41, that's C and C sharp, um, because the springs weren't working. Well, first of all, the hammer height is too low. If it's resting on the rail here, uh, you have to actually regulate the spring, though. It's really important. I've shown this before, so I won't go on too long about it, but the spring screw here needs turning to regulate the spring, because at the moment the springs don't come up, as we can see. Uh, uh, what I mean is if, when we push the hammer, push the key down as we release the back check here the hammer goes up so as I'm lifting my finger off the key a bit and it should go up if we look at B here note 39 it goes straight down so if you if you don't regulate the spring they should really sit on the rail otherwise you might find the jack doesn't doesn't go under again there's the jack and that might not go under again properly if the spring is not working so that's all minor regulation that really improves the touch a lot it makes you a lot more sensitive to play also set off here uh, that button is, has been adjusted on those two and also well the first thing to do is the hammer height which is this here the capstan so we mentioned all of that many times before there's the worksheet summary of the work and aspects of the piano and you can see of the things we've been talking about i just hold it on there in case you want to stop the video and just have a look at some of the things that lubrication is a major major work that we have to do um, always nearly always and uh, tighten the hammer screws that's something actually i didn't show you earlier but 
that needs doing on this just to make sure they're as tight as possible so the hammers don't move improving damping there's a couple of dampers that need improving um so we won't go into all the detail there but suffice it to say we will be doing all of that work and the the key weight's really important the last thing we'll do to check that the weighting is similar and you'll see that some are quite high there 61 62 should be um 52 in the base 50 in the center and then 48 in the top treble so there's a bit of variety there that that's a wonderful up weight this is the up weight here um low up weight generally means good touch and it doesn't does feel excellent to play let's compare the tone with some other pianos <laughs> This is a similar length Kemble, just one centimetre longer. This is broad, but this is longer, so if you go longer, it's obviously a richer tone. So that's a chapel, baby grand, four foot seven inches long, 140 centimeters. Just come into stock. We've just already started working on it, particularly on the case. And I've, I've shown you the, the defects on the case, which are the only thing that really devalues it, because otherwise it's a superb instrument. Uh, sorry, I don't like superlatives too much, but it is really, feels already very controlled to play. I think it's to do with the low up weight. Thank you very much for listening.